the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a base. Take any base you want. You can use any primer you have. The one I'm going to use is NYX Teal. And I'm just going to take this all over the eye. And then take any blending brush and blend this onto the skin. Next color I, I'm going to go into is Electric Eel by MAC. And it's just sort of a royal blue. And I'm going to take this with A217 by MAC and I'm going to apply this over my primer. And as always, blend the edges with some type of a blending brush. Next, I need some shadows up here to make the blending of the purple a little easier. So I'm going to start off with a light brown, and the color is going to be Wedge. So this is Wedge here, and I'm going to take this with a 224 by MAC. And Wedge for me is not going to be noticeable because I'm going to cover it with other shadows but it's going to give me a powdery um, base to blend over. So it'll make the blending of the other shadows easier. And once you have it like that, I'm going to go into a purple. And the purple I'm going to be using is this one by Makeup Forever. And the color is number, number 92. So I'm going to take this with a 217 by MAC and I'm going to build this color up slowly. So I'm first going to start dabbing the color on my socket. And I start in the outer corner and then I work my way in. And you want to start slow with this so that you're able to blend this color out nicely. And with my same brush, I start blending out the outer edges of the purple. Now I'm going to go back into my 224 and blend out the edges where I applied wedge. And had I not applied the wedge back here, the purple would have no gradient effect. It would not have anything to blend on. So now I'm going to go back into my purple and keep intensifying it until I get the intensity I want. So remember, just pick up product, apply it to your socket, and once you feel your brush doesn't have so much product on it, then start blending the product away at the edges. Now I'm going to take a different brown, and it's a little brighter than Wedge. Wedge, this is Wedge, and this is the one I'm going to take, and this is Texture, and it's just a little more golden. So I'm going to take Texture with my 224 and apply this on the outer edges. And Texture will just give me that golden color on the outer edge of purple. So I'm just going between the purple and Texture. If you don't have this color, you can use your bronzer. It's very similar to a bronzer. Okay, so the next color I'm going to use is Brulee by MAC, and it's just an ivory color. 
and I usually use this under my brow and it's very similar to my skin color so find something that's similar to your skin color in a matte finish um, and if you don't have a shadow just use your powder so this will give us a little more blending Now I'm going to fill in my brows and I'm going to wet a 266 by MAC. Then I'm going to pick up a little bit of shadow and the one I'm using today is Brune by MAC. You just want a matte shadow that matches your hair. So I'm going to start sketching out my brow starting at the bottom. And then I do the same to the top. And then I start filling it in. And then I brush through them. And then finish filling in the rest of the brow here at the front, just with whatever is left on my brush. And then I'm going to clean off my brush. And I'm going to apply a lighter brown shadow. And the one I'm using is texture since I have it here with me. I'm just going to run that through here. And then I just brush through them again. Next I'm going to apply NYX Slide On Glide On Pencil, Waterproof Pencil in Jet Black. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this close to my lash line. And then I'm going to take my angle brush and run it on top of the pencil so that I can fix the line and smooth it out. And what I like to do is extend it like this with my same brush and once I've extended it, I take a pencil brush and smudge this pencil. And this also helps so that your line isn't so defined. So I just smudge, smudge, smudge. You have to work fast with this because these pencils set really fast. And then I'm going to take my brush that I applied the purple with and I'm going to blend this out. Next thing I'm going to do is go back into my teal pencil by NYX and I'm going to line the inner corner. And I'm going to go out to about two thirds of the way. And then I'm also going to take this in the inner corner. And I'm going to take my 239 and I'm going to smooth over this so that I work the product into my skin. And I'm also going to go in this inner corner. And then I'm going to take 
these lashes and they're number 747S from Red Cherry. And after I've waited for the glue to dry, I'm going to pop them in the center of my eye. Like that. Give it a couple of seconds. And then place your corners in place. And then flip your tweezers around and use the other end to push them as close as possible to the lash line. And while we wait for that to dry, I'm going to apply concealer. I'm going to be using what's left of this peach one from a Makeup Forever palette. And with my regular NC30 concealer, I'm going to conceal around my nose and any areas that I need. I also went over the teal pencil with this shadow and this is turquoise glass by Maybelline so I just took a brush and just went over the, the teal pencil I went over this pencil with this shadow by Maybelline next I'm going to powder the skin with Makeup Forever HD powder Next, I'm going to be going into my favorite bronzer, which is Smashbox Suntan Matte Bronzer. And I'm going to take this in the hollow of my cheek. And then blend upwards and blend down onto the jaw. And as always, take it around the temples as well. And with a clean brush, just blend it out. The blush I'm going to be using today is Peaches by MAC. And this is what it looks like. And I'm going to take this with this angled brush. And I'm using this blush because it'll just look as if it's part of the bronzer and just give it a little more of an apricot feel to it without looking too overdone. Like that. And lastly on the lips I'm going to apply this jumbo pencil by NYX and the color is Coffee. If you follow me on Facebook, I have a page uh, called Makeup by Lorena, and on there I've been putting all my recent purchases of all the makeup I've bought, so things like this will be on there, and I'm doing that so that you guys can go ahead and see what I'm buying, and hopefully when I get around to using it in a makeup tutorial, hopefully you guys will have that at home as well. And that's the finished look, guys. I hope you guys like it, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.